A new play in Chicago is revealing a part of Chicago history that many people don't know anything about. It tells the story of Latin American immigrants in the 1950s and 60s on the north side of the city. CBS 2's Sandra Torres shows us what it's all about. On the corner of Belmont and Sheffield in the Lakeview neighborhood, there's an untold story. This story is not one that you're going to see in the history books. It's a story that Chicago and Sandra Delgado wanted to preserve and share. I was asking my father about his early days in Chicago, and he said, yeah, well, on the weekends, your mother and I used to go to this club called La Habana Madrid. Her parents moved to the United States from Colombia in the 1960s. And that club had become a cultural hub for many Latin American immigrants. La Habana Madrid was opened by uh, a Cuban who actually played for the White Sox. Luis Vito Aloma. This golden time in the 50s and 60s where there were a lot of Cubans and Puerto Ricans on the north side by the lake. That's why Delgado created and wrote La Habana Madrid, now playing at the Goodman Theater. It doesn't matter where you're from. A musical tribute to her parents and other immigrants like Roberto Marin, <laughs> known as Carpacho. They show a guy who has dreams. His story as a Colombian musician in America inspired a character in the play. His band plays live on stage. It makes me very emotional when we do the play is that with my story, I have a European coming to me and I related to your story. Yes. And while the production ends on Sunday, Elgado hopes this is just the beginning. I want to see it in other cities and, yeah. and uh, I'm going to say that is going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> I got my luggage already made. And all he there. does. <laughs> He's like, tengo las maletas listas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And La Habana Madrid closed its doors in 1969, but later the space became The Quiet Night, where Bob Marley, Jimmy Buffett, and Bruce Springsteen would perform. And now the space is home to a hair salon, but Sandra Delgado says that with this play, La Habana Madrid lives on. In the newsroom, Sandra Torres, CBS 2 News. Robin wow, Erica. to hear that history is really amazing. Sandra, with just a few days left of the production, are there any tickets left for the show? There certainly are tickets, and they're hoping that it sells out by Sunday. Uh, she does say, though, that she plans to come back, so maybe another Chicago soon here. Yes, an encore. All right, thank you, Sandra. Coming